Hi, my name is Don Chang and welcome to this OpenTunes tutorial series. This tutorial series will be focusing on integrating OpenTunes into a traditional animation workflow and is meant for people with general knowledge of animation that are looking to use OpenTunes for their traditional hand-drawn productions. This is a four-part tutorial and in this part we will be going over pre-production and animation. OpenTunes is a powerful software and it works similar to Celsius Retask and Toon Boom Harmony. For people that have experience in either software, you'll find yourself in familiar territories. Recently, the Japanese animated feature Mary and the Witch's Flower was made in the open source version of OpenTunes. I will be using a workflow similar to those of the Japanese studios in order to create a scene from start to end. I will be recreating this shot in OpenTunes. This shot is from an old short film I had made while I was in school called Halcyon Days of Youth. You can find this short on this channel. The animation on this scene is very simple. It mainly consists of two poses, there is no camera move, and there is a small pan on the background. So before production, there is pre-production. And in pre-production is where we figure out the concept, the idea of the film, what the designs of the locations and characters are. After that comes the storyboards. Storyboards plan out the action and cinematography of the film. Here is the storyboarded sequence of the scene that we will work on in this tutorial. This is a close-up shot where the character, June, is waking up and her head moves from left to right. The camera also pans, but we can fake this pan by not moving the camera at all, and instead just pan the background. So I will be animating in a 12 field. However, this film is in cinemascope ratio, so I will need a specially sized field guide in order to accommodate that 2.35 to 1 ratio. Here is my layout. It basically is just a rough drawing of the first and last frame of the animation projected over my field guide, which will let me see the scene in respect to the camera. In terms of the background, I will be reusing a background from another scene. However, I will be reframing it for this scene. Now we can start animating. I will only lightly skim through the animation process, as this tutorial is mainly about the usage of the OpenTune software. To create my two keyframes, I will take those rough layout drawings that were made and tighten them up. I will also be using a red and blue pencil crayon for my color separation lines. The blue marks my shadows and the red my highlights. I will also add a breakdown drawing between my two keyframes. This drawing will consist of the character overshooting her movement before recovering into the last pose. Here is my timing chart. Drawings 1 and 13 are the two poses and are important keyframe drawings. Drawing number 11 is the breakdown drawing which is also important. Drawing number 5 is the in-between of drawing number 1 and 11 and from that we can in-between the rest of our drawings. So to get drawing number 4, we can in-between drawings 1 and 5. To get drawing number 3, we in-between 1 and 4 and etc. Then I will label my keyframes based on what I had written down in the timing chart. Now I will begin in-betweening. When in-betweening, I make sure to keep my drawings rough and loose and get the animation working first. We will have an opportunity to tighten up our drawings later in the cleanup stage. Four drawings down, nine to go. With our rough drawings done, we can now pencil test to check our progress. Here is my pencil testing setup. It consists of an old webcam connected to my computer that is held on by a stand. I have a peg bar taped to my desk in order to hold the drawings. Now we shall create our project. Click on New Project. The project will save in the default OpenTunes folder, which is changeable, but for now we can leave it as it is. Give it a project name. 
I will name this project Tunes Tutorial Scene. Now click OK. Next, we have to create the scene. I will name this scene Pencil Test. We will have to set the camera size to the resolution of the webcam. Since this is an old webcam, its resolution is 640 by 480. Now hit Create Scene. Now go to Scan and Clean Up and then into Camera Capture. On the top left, make sure the correct camera is selected. I will change the color type to grayscale so we can get a faster read on the drawings. And since our camera capture is upside down, I will check the upside down box. I can then play around with the histogram to get a clearer picture. Now hit the capture button or hit the return key to capture the image. Once the drawing has been captured, put the next drawing on and capture that as well. Keep doing this until all drawings have been captured. Now that all our drawings have been captured, we can adjust the timing of the shot. I have planned for this shot to be on threes, so let's select all our drawings, right click, reframe, and put them on threes. We will also extend the exposure of the last frame by clicking on it and dragging the grade tab at the bottom. Now let's play it back to see what it looks like. I think I can make some further adjustments to the timing of this shot. Let's see how this looks with the first three drawings on twos instead of threes. Play back the animation to see how it looks. I like this timing, so I will write it down on my paper exposure sheet. Now that we're happy with our rough animation, it is time to sharpen up our pencils and start doing cleanup. When doing cleanup, it is important to apply enough pressure to the pencil so that the line is dark and clear. If you make a small mistake, it is possible to fix it by using a soft eraser. However, if that does not work, it is sometimes better to just restart. When cleaning up an in-between drawing, it is useful to have the two drawings that the in-between was created from as reference while cleaning up. Think of it as in-betweening two clean drawings, but also tracing over a rough drawing that can be referenced. If we were running low on time, we can skip the in-betweening during the rough animation process and instead go straight to in-betweening the cleaned up drawings. Now I will continue to clean up the rest of my drawings. Once my drawings have been cleaned, I can move on to OpenTunes to do Scan and Trace.